Let us solve this given equation, but first let's really identify if this is a Bernoulli equation. Now, a Bernoulli equation is almost similar to a linear equation, it's just that on the right hand side of the equation when written in the standard form, there is an expression of y raised to a certain power of n. Um, this is the standard form for the Bernoulli equation, d, the derivative of y over derivative with respect to x, plus p of x y is equal to f of x, and this time you have y to the power of n. And we cannot remove that y to the power of n, that's why we're going to use here the concepts necessary in solving the Bernoulli equation. So let's see if this is really a Bernoulli equation, let's multiply all sides by 1 over x so that our first term here will only be dy over dx in standard form. This will be cancelled so that we become dy over dx plus, since you're multiplying 1 over x, you will have 1 over x here, y plus, uh, sorry, equal to the x squared here will be removed so you will have x to the times y to the power of 2 or y squared. This is really a Bernoulli equation because you can see here an expression of y to the power n with, where n is equal to 2. Okay, and take note that your n here should not be 0 because if it's 0, it's just simple, simply a linear equation. If n is equal to 1, it's also there's also can be other process in order for, in order for us to solve that. So this strictly, it should not be 0 and should not be equal to 1. Hence, we have here equal to 2. Together with this, we can identify your p of x being 1 over x here and your f of x being x. Now in our previous video, if this is a linear equation, we'll be using p of x and then later on f of x in solving uh, integrating factor and of course the process itself. But since this is a Bernoulli equation, we cannot use that. We are going to use this certain method. The certain method of our uh, in solving Bernoulli equation is this. We are going to make sure that this side will only contain the variable x. Hence, we'll be dividing y squared, meaning maybe in shortly moving that. So. Let me copy that here. You have dy over dx plus 1 over xy is equal to xy squared. Let's multiply both sides by 1 over y squared. That this would be removed, making the right hand side only with x. So you will have here x. You will have 1 over y squared of dy over dx. And since this is y squared here, this will be multiplied to that. That's obviously 1, what you have here, uh, 1 over x times 1 over y, equal to x. So this is equal to x. Let's uh, write this in terms of y, power of negative 2, dy over dx, plus 1 over x, y to the power of negative 1, is equal to x. This is the first step. We were able to make sure that the... Uh, the uh, right hand side will only contain f of x, in this case x. But since this cannot be solved using linear equation, what we need to do here is to represent this function as another variable with an exponent of 1. Because if it is an exponent of 1, it can be written as a linear equation and we can use the concepts in solving linear equation to solve this. So this is the next thing that will happen. Let z be equal to y to the power of 1. Okay, so this would mean uh, this this form here, you will have plus 1 over x, z equal to x. So we are now almost there, getting the equivalent linear equation in terms of z instead of y. Now, we have this other expression here, so let's also come up with the derivative of this representation. The derivative of that is negative 1, y to the power of negative 2, dy. In short, this is equal to negative y, uh, power of negative 2, dy. dy is here, y to the power of negative 2 is here, but since it is negative, that would mean this entire expression is negative of dz, because that's this is d of z, right? So we can use it here, use this, uh, I mean, this is also... Um, this expression, I'm going to take this out, y to the power of negative 2 dy over dx is just equal to negative of dz, negative d of z. In short, so we'll have here negative of dz over dx. So now we have two variables now, z and x, 
But let's make this positive. So let's multiply all uh, items here by negative 1. So the final form of this equation in terms of z is dz over dx minus 1 over xz equal to x. Look into this example. Earlier, it was a Bernoulli equation. Once we use this representation, this is now an example of a linear equation. And hence, we can now solve this further. But we are going to solve here z first. Don't worry about that one. We already have a representation here for z equal to y to the power of negative 1. Once we can solve z, let's substitute y to the power of negative 1. And then we could solve for our original Bernoulli equation. So with this now, we can, uh, since this is a linear equation, this item here is your p of x. But to differentiate with the p of x already given earlier together with f of x, let's call it p sub 1 of x. Okay? And this is negative 1 of x, and this is, of course, f sub 1 of x. We are going to use this p of x in our integrate, solving for our integrating factor. The integrating factor is equal to e to the power of the integral of p sub 1 of x dx. So e to the power of integral of negative 1 over x dx. This will give us a result of e to the power of negative natural logarithm of x. And uh, using the power uh, that's negative 1, the loss of uh, power law for logarithm as an exponent here. So you have e to the power of natural logarithm of x to the power of negative 1. With this, we will get our integrating factor be equal to x to the power of negative 1. And this is our integrating factor in solving for z in this given expression. Don't worry about solving for z. Again, we will return to y later. So with this, solving for linear equation, mu of x, now z instead of y because z is our variable, is equal to the integral of the integrating factor times f sub 1 of x. This, not the other one dx okay now substituting that you have x to the power of negative 1 z equal to the integral of x to the power of negative 1 times negative x as our f uh, sorry uh, we are multiplying negative here so this negative x it should be negative x yeah it's negative x dx pardon for that okay then you have x to the power of negative 1 z uh, sorry to those who did not get the correction earlier we were multiplying this equation by negative 1 to make this positive so that's why this is this becomes negative and this is also become negative okay that's why it's negative here so this is actually x to the power of 1 x negative 1 that's 0 so you will have negative of x here or not 0 x to the power of 0 is 1 right so we have x to the power of negative 1 z is equal to negative that there are uh, integral of that is x plus c okay i'm just using plus c here for general terms of any constant since we're solving for z okay we're solving for this so let's multiply all items by x so that x times that is x to the power of zero which is equal to one leaving z so we have negative x times x is x squared plus c x now we are done solving for z but it's not z that we're looking for. We're solving for this Bernoulli equation. Hence, we would like to have an expression in terms of y equal to something. But this, there is a representation earlier for z being y to the power of negative 1. So by doing that, z, since z is equal to y to the power of negative 1, so you have y to the power of negative 1 equal to negative x squared plus cx. That's 1 over y equal to negative x squared plus cx. And reciprocating this, y is equal to 1 over x squared, uh, negative x squared plus cx. This is now the solution of the original Bernoulli equation. We're able to use the concepts of linear equation once we're able to emphasize il uh, representations in terms of another variable reaching a linear equation standard form. So again, the solution is equal to 1 over uh, uh, negative x squared plus cx. That's the solution for this given Bernoulli equation. Thank you very much for watching.